Good day everyone, I am Danny Madenge. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is going to be an onset into newer landscapes where we are going to dive into technology and computing. This is not a shift from musical content, but it is an enrichment and diversification of my content creation journey. In this tech series, we are going to look at concepts and skills from the basic level to advanced levels in various computing fields. Guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and let us grow together. Thank you. Welcome to the video. And we start by launching the word application. So this is what this is the, the home page. We can select a blank document. We have all these sections here, we have file, we have the home, insert, draw. This is basically how a blank document looks like. For the convenience of this lesson, I had prepared a document on some of the key functionalities of Microsoft Word. In the first part, we can create and edit a document. The second part, we, can form, we have the formatting tools where we use them to format our documents with such as fonts, font sizes, font styles, adjustments, alignments, colors, styles, headers and footers. Then we have page layout as our third functionality. And here we set the page margins, the orientations, as well as putting the breaks. The fourth functionality, we have insert elements, we can insert images, shapes, we can embed hyperlinks, etc. The fifth functionality, we can review and collaborate, track changes made to the document, add comments and annotations, etc. We'll dive deeper into these things. Then we have templates. We have pre-designed templates to use to, uh, to make our documents look better. Number seven, we have table of contents and indexing. This is generating a table of contents. This is mainly used when you're creating a document that has a table has a table of contents, like a proposal, a thesis, etc. Mail merge. We'll come to see how that functions. We have export and sharing. We have document security. How we can encrypt our document. And also, we have automation using macros all right so into the first functionality creating a document and editing it no this already this is the document so we can edit we can delete basically using the keyboard we can cut cut pasting uh, basically i'm using the control x and the control v you can also highlight using your cursor or your, key or your mouse. And then using the right click, use the right click. You have cut here. Also right click. You can paste it there. So that is basically creating and editing simple functionalities. These skills are very important and. Instead of you going to learn them in an institution where you have to pay money, you can ask your guardian or your parent to buy you a laptop and you can use online online tutors and other other resources to learn these things. These are basic things that you need. On to the second one, we have formatting tools. Here is where we are going to deal with things like fonts, font sizes, colors and styles headers and footers so example select this document this part we come here we change the font times new roman here we select the size size 14 uh, we can also come here font color we have it as blue or have it black as black so the good thing with with Microsoft Word, when you place your cursor 
at any of these things, you will see what they do. You don't have to cram. Just use your cursor. Here you can have bullets. Yeah. Headers and footers. How do you insert a header? There are several ways of inserting a header and a footer. You can come on the top of your document and left click several times. And there you have your header section. If you, and in the footer section. Rather, you can you can come you can come here at the insert insert tab up there and then header and footer option as well as the page number option down here. Right, we shall dive into those tabs up there. Page layout. Set page margins, orientation, port, uh, such as portrait and landscape. This is found as the layout tab up here. Let's select our document. Layout. Let's say we want to have columns, two columns. And there is our is our text which has been formatted to fit into two columns. Now, if you want to reverse an action that you've done. It's so easy. You just control Z. Or you go back you, you 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 go back here and use this undo and redo. Undo here, then undo here. Like that. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut. That is the control Z and the control Y. Uh, inserting elements. Here we are going to insert images, shapes, charts, and other objects. We can also include a table for organizing data. So inserting elements up here at the insert tab. We can insert a table. And it is inserted where the cursor is placed. So here we have our table. We can select the number of rows and columns. Or rather, we can also draw the table. Else, we can insert the shape. So I want this shape. I come and I draw it there. And right there, I have my my shape that I have inserted. Alright, then you go to review and collaboration. This is not such a basic function, but you might need it. We have the spelling and grammar check. We can have we can select the whole document. Then we take it to the grammar checker. Here it is, spelling and grammar, the thousands as well. We have a word count here. We have a read aloud, but now this depends on the version of your software. Table of contents and indexing. So this is how you do it. You select all your all your title texts. Uh, you select them, such as select a few. And then you select the style. Styles up here. You right click and then let us redo it again. I have selected the text. Sorry, sorry. Select the text again. And right click styles. Choose the heading that you want. So I've chose that heading. Then come here, back to references, table of contents, automatic table of contents. And there you have your table of contents. All right. So what tabs do we have here? We have the, the file tab shows us the word the, the the documents that we have. We have the home tab where we are. We have the insert tab where you can insert tables, shapes, icons, 3D models, headers, footers, symbols. We have the draw part where we can draw designs. We have the design part where we design our text. We can add watermarks. Let us select these and add a watermark. 
let's say do not copy and you have it here and you can select the intensity of our watermark by customizing it size you can select our size basically whatever we'd like to do with it right you can have our page borders and as well select fonts from here we go to the layout tab and you have this is how a document looks like we have the orientation we have the size we have the, the columns we have the, the borders the, the spacing we have the indent spacing where we can input the spacing here let's say for example a, a user a figure like seven there and select the text right let's say seven you see the text has gone to the right side so let us return it back to zero there we have our text then you can the references but we have we've seen where we have a table of contents adding text footnotes and notes next notes insert notes we have insertable figures when you have a, when you have figures in your document that is where we use it we have mark citation this is when you're citing your references inside that, inside your text we have a mailing we can do mail merging we shall do this on a later date we have review where we have the spelling and grammar the servers what count read aloud and all these other functionalities here we have the view so this is how we want to view the file you can have it as print layout web layout read mode one page multiple pages switch windows and macros macros is a tool for automating word documents then you have the help part where we can ask for help for something that we, we don't know about yeah so how do we save how do we save our file after creating our file how do we save it how do we save our file we have it here you can go up here where you have the save you can use ctrl s that is a keyboard shortcut so let us use it ctrl save now because the document was already saved let us let us see how we can save a new document so you come here save us we select the location now I selected download then from there you select the you select the the format that you want to save it in I can select PDF if you want to export it as PDF or rather we can have it as just a word document and then from there we can hit save now if you want to secure your document this is where you secure it from tools general options then you have to fit in the password to modify the the text and don't forget it because when you forget the the password you lose the document but there are because this is basic security there are other more complicated ones and sophisticated ones yeah so basically that's how you save it thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye bye